SpaceX wants to launch 148 Falcon Family rockets in 2024. Wait, how many? 148? Well, they did launch 96 Falcon Family rockets total last year, but just how exactly are they gonna do that? And what are their future plans? Let's get to it. For the last seven years, SpaceX has been launching many more rockets and many more satellites than its competitors. Last year saw 91 Falcon 9 and 5 Falcon Heavy launches for a total of 96, and all of them successful. And this isn't even counting the three Starship launches from Texas. But it wasn't always like this for SpaceX. The very first Falcon 9 was launched in June of 2010, while the space shuttle was still flying. Yes, the Falcon 9 program dates all the way back to the very first years of the company. Three, two, one. Stage one. Lift off. Of the Falcon 9. For a while, the Falcon 9 had to have many, many bugs worked out. Scrubs were pretty common, to the point where commenters in our forums even used the moniker Scrub X. And they also compared Falcon 9 unfavorably to ULA's rockets, which were, at the time, touted as the most reliable way to get to orbit. There were two Falcon 9 version 1.0 launches in 2010, and then none in 2011. It wasn't until mid-2012 that the Falcon 9 flew again with the first Dragon version 1.0 cargo demo mission to the ISS. There were two operational missions of Dragon with the original Falcon 9 and its tic-tac-toe engine mounting before Falcon 9 version 1.1 made a successful debut on September 29, 2013. The Falcon 9 moved through successive blocks of modifications and the company got more and more experience while dealing with some setbacks along the way, including crashes during initial landing attempts on barges out in the ocean. The first successful RTLS landing in December of 2015 gave the world proof that SpaceX's crazy ideas of landing and reusing boosters might actually work. In 2016, the company finally got its first successful drone ship landing. The CRS-7 failure in 2015 and Amos-6 explosion in 2016 kept the company from getting to double digits in launches for those years. But then 2017 came along, and that year, SpaceX started reflying used boosters. Five. Four, three, two, one. Lift off the Falcon 9, the world's first new flight of mobile class rocket. They got to 18 launches and surpassed ULA for the first time. The current Block 5 version of Falcon 9 made its debut in May 2018 with the Banga Bandu 1 launch, as the company was perfecting the rocket for more rapid reusability. Starlink launches started in 2019, while the company dealt with a temporary dip in launches caused by a slump in launch contracts. Starlink Constellation deploy confirmed. And we have confirmation of deploy. Then, despite a worldwide pandemic, SpaceX flew 26 times in 2020. 26 times! That was an amazing cadence. But the best was yet to come. There were 61 launches in 2022 and 96 launches of the Falcon family in 2023, while they had hoped to reach 100. That's right, 100 launches for the Falcon family in a single year, and setting the record for a number of launches in a single year by a rocket family, surpassing Soyuz and China's Long March family. And 2024 is off to a strong start, with 10 launches in January, 9 in February, and 12 launches in March, though they need to keep hitting 12 or even more launches per month to get to their target of Wait for it, 148 launches this year. 148 launches, just how are they gonna do that? Or how can they even get close? But let's explore this. After much iteration, the Falcon 9's design is now essentially frozen. This was necessary for the rocket to be approved by NASA for crewed spaceflight. However, there have been minor tweaks here and there, including a new stubby nozzle using less material that can be used for launches where high performance is not required. This allows SpaceX to keep cranking out second stages, even with a shortage of niobium, a metal needed for the nozzle. Second stage manufacturing is one of the keys for keeping the Falcon 9 flying at a high rate. Another key is SpaceX's marine assets. 
There are now three drone ships. Just Read the Instructions and A Short Fall of Gravitas are based on the East Coast, and Of Course I Still Love You is now based on the West Coast for Vandenberg flights. In addition, there are the support ships Bob and Doug, named after the Demo-1 astronauts, that are used to retrieve fairings. Fairings! Yes, those are now reusable too after softly descending to the ocean on parachutes. And the reuse of fairings is another key for rapid reuse as this reduces the need for new fairings to be made. The Merlin engine used in the first stage was refined at the SpaceX test facilities in McGregor to allow for rapid reuse without a huge overhaul. And the landing algorithms used by the rocket were refined with the help of the Grasshopper and F9 Dev R2 landing test beds that flew a number of times before a failure and explosion mid-flight caused the city of McGregor to ban further test flights. The ability to land and recover boosters has been refined to a point where there hasn't been a failed landing since 2021, just about three years ago. Until B-1058 fell off the barge just before it reached port, no booster had been lost since a Starlink mission in February of 2021. But let's salute B-1058, the first booster to reach 19 successful launches. Another key is the launch pads themselves. The pads at LC-39A and Slick-40 are now capable of rapid reuse with minimal activity needed to prepare them for the next flight. The transporter erector that holds the Falcon 9 up gets thrown back rapidly after liftoff to a point where most of the systems the erector uses, like propellant lines, electronics, and so forth, are well away from the launch plume to prevent damage. The pad at Vandenberg, Slick 4E, uses the older design of the transporter erector that retracts a short distance away a few minutes before flight. This design takes longer to prepare for the next flight, as the launch plume can damage some things there. There are fewer flights out of the West Coast than the Cape, though, so the company didn't modify the pad like they did in Florida. However, the launch cadence is picking up there, so efforts have been made to cut the pad turnaround time. The Falcon 9 rockets themselves are capable of flying up to 20 times now without an overhaul. They only need a minimum of checks before they fly again, and the shortest time between flights of a given booster is 21 days and 6 hours by B-1062 in 2022. One new strategy for ensuring, or trying to ensure, that SpaceX can hit or come close to its 148 launch target is accepting a reduced number of Starlink satellites per launch while conducting RTLS landings of the boosters. This will lessen the strain on the company's drone ships and marine fleet. Earlier this year, Just Read the Instructions was in dry dock in Charleston, South Carolina for work, but is now back in action recovering rockets, and this will help the fleet too. While Starship is under development and testing, the Falcon 9 will continue to be the SpaceX workhorse for years to come. The launch cadence will be dictated by how many payloads are ready to fly, but is expected to stay high for at least the next few years. Starship is ultimately expected to fly several times a week, though the program is a long way from even thinking about it.